Welcome to my first ever Dr. Tom tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you using the Biodigital Human, how you can really easily make an anatomy tour of the heart. So here you're in the Biodigital Human, uh, it's just www.human.biodigital.com. And then you're faced with this page. I'm gonna click on anatomy by systems. What I want is obviously the cardiovascular system. I'm just gonna choose the female one. Um, and then I'm gonna click on that. And then using this little button up here, customizing the studio, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate the heart in the cardiovascular system. So click on that and click isolate for the heart. And here we have the heart. And this is gonna be my first chapter because I just want people to be able to look at the heart, click on things, play around with it. Over here, you have chapters. I'm gonna add a chapter and I'm gonna duplicate that. So now I'm on the second chapter because I wanna get into a few different teaching concepts. The first thing I want to teach is I want to teach the chambers of the heart, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hide uh, the cardiac fat so that we get down to these various chambers. And then I just want to paint them so that it's easy to see them uh, and differentiate them. So here we've got the, uh, the right ventricle, which I'm going to leave pink, and you'll see that it actually becomes easier to see in contrast to the left ventricle when I paint that blue. So right ventricle, left ventricle, and those are the lower chambers of the heart. And then I'm gonna paint the right atrium green and I'm gonna paint the uh, left atrium uh, sort of yellowish hue. Actually, I'm gonna paint it red because it's easier to see like that. So we got red, we got green, we got blue, we got pink. Uh, and also I'm just gonna add some labels so that it's easy to see what these various different components or chambers of the heart are. So that's my second chapter. So we have the right atrium, right ventricle, left. Oh, I'm gonna actually change that to left atrium. Delete that, that was actually on the oracle, which is part of the left atrium. And so now we have the left atrium and the left ventricle. You can add uh, things that you want to here. If I wanna add a little description, so I can say uh, main pumping chamber of the heart. Um, and you can add further detail to the other uh, labels there, which I won't for the moment, just so we keep it nice and concise. What I'm also gonna do here is I'm going to uh, make this, uh, I'm gonna hide the description so that it looks more like the other labels. So if you want more information, you can click on it and you get main pumping chamber of the heart, but here it just looks a little tidier. So you get left ventricle, left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, super. So what I'm gonna do next is I want to talk about the great vessels of the heart. So I'm gonna duplicate this chapter again, and I am going to here, chapter three. So here again, we have the heart, and here I'm gonna paint these again, uh, just to show contrast. Here's the biggest blood vessel of the body, this is the, uh, the aorta. I'm gonna have that in pink. And then I'm gonna have the pulmonary trunk in blue. Uh, and then I'm just gonna point out a couple of other uh, vessels as well. So here aorta, that's the blood that goes to your body. Uh, and this, uh, the pulmonary trunk with the pulmonary arteries coming off it, uh, blood goes to your lungs. And then of course that we have the various different um, veins that lead into the heart. And here you'll see that the vena cava, the superior and inferior vena cava aren't actually there, but using the anatomy tree, I can either search for them like this and I can just add that. So here you have the superior vena cava and I'm gonna write inferior and then you add that right there. And so you've got them here and I'm gonna label, I'm gonna color them the same color, uh, sort of turquoise-ish. And then we're gonna label a few things. Oh, let me not forget. Also, over here, we have the pulmonary veins. I'm going to label those because here they're actually part of um, the left atrium, but uh, we'll color them and then we'll label them A as well. So there, there they are, red. Okay, so labeling is super easy, as I mentioned. You just click on things and they actually populate. You can add stuff you want, uh, you know, further detail if you want as well. Uh, and here, what it's going to do is it's actually going to call this the left atrium because it's the same object, but I can actually just go into that label and I can say pulmonary vein. 
which is great. There are actually four of them. So I'm just going to copy this to four of them. If you just bear with me, I'll get the names in. And here we go. So there you have it. You have all of the great vessels of uh, the, uh, the heart, the aorta pulmonary trunk with the pulmonary arteries. I can also label if I want the pulmonary arteries which come off the pulmonary trunk, but for the sake of brevity, I'll just keep that there. Inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, both part of the venous system. And then you've got your pulmonary veins here, your four pulmonary veins going into the left atrium. Okay, so final chapter. Uh, again, I wanna duplicate this very first chapter. So I'm gonna click duplicate chapter. I want to teach the uh, valves of the heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete or I'm gonna take off um, these various uh, vessels, which are actually at the moment hiding uh, these valves of the heart. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label them so tricuspid, mitral, aortic, pulmonary. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add back those structures and then I'm going to make them see through. So over them will be lying the um, atrium, the atria. So I'm going to add that back in. Let me add that back in. There we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna actually add back the aorta and I'm gonna add back the pulmonary trunk. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna make all of those see-through. So if you click the paint function, then I'm gonna click fade, 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 fade. And now you can actually see all of these valves, but you've actually faded the objects on top of it. So you can see them pretty nicely. Also for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna take away the cardiac vessels. So you click on the cardiac system, you click on the heart, and then you can see the, uh, the coronary vessels here. I'm taking them away just so that we can see things a little bit more easily. In the final chapter, so I'm gonna leave it like this. It's kind of a nice, view, I think, from here. The final chapter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the whole heart see through. So here I'm going to duplicate this chapter. Now I'm in the final fifth chapter, but I want to make everything see through because I want to be able to see uh, the, the vessel, the um, valves incredibly clearly. And there you have it. You've also got some cordae tendinae and um, a couple of, uh, of these uh, structures right here, which are actually little muscles um, within the heart. And uh, they're, they're called papillary uh, muscles, which actually help with the, uh, these little stringy things attached to the valves, which are the cordae tendinae. So there you have it. Uh, here you've got a full tour of the heart where you know will now know the chambers of the heart, the great vessels of the heart, and the valves of the heart. Oh, I just want to, looks like I have um, by mistake changed the aortic valve to see through. So what you do here is you just click original and then click on it and it's right back to its original uh, color right there. So all you do now is you click save and I'm just going to type in a new title and this is going to be um, Art Anatomy Tour. Um, I'm going to make it uh, part of the team so everyone can see it view only so people can't save over what I've done. Click save. And once that's saved, then I will click. It's also really important to have a cup of tea whenever you do this. I will click publish. And then I can copy the URL. Now I've got the URL. I'm going to open a new tab, throw the URL in. And then, as if by magic, you have your tour. So that's obviously the heart. And you can click on various structures like the cardiac fat aorta. Here, you've got your nice um, chambers of the heart. 
labeled left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium. Third chapter, you've got the great vessels, aorta, pulmonary trunk, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and then you've got the pulmonary veins. And then you have got the valves of the heart. Uh, so you've got tricuspid, mitral, aortic, and pulmonary valve right here, just for orientation. Let me move this around. You see the heart nicely there, that's the aorta. And then the final chapter, just to give you a little bit more um, clarity, I guess, to be able to see through the heart and through to the valve. So you can see the bottom side of the heart. Here's the heart completely see through uh, and the valves labeled. So that is how you make a heart anatomy tour in uh, BioDigital Human Studio. Uh, for any more information, go to biodigital.com.